Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your own Ubuntu host installer. So before we get into making our own, I'm gonna show you my, uh, my post installer. It's in my Dropbox here, I need to find it. Uh, it's pretty complex, uh, I guess. Uh, I use it for, every time I install Ubuntu, I have it install my favorite apps, I have it add some PPAs and some repos, I have it set up Plasma Restart. It's a little tool that I make myself that can kill the Plasma shell and restart it, you know, for when I'm using KDE. You know, I, it does an auto upgrade, adds a, you know, another PPA. It downloads various Debian packages and installs them. It installs Slack from the Flatpak repos, you know. So it's pretty useful. Uh, we're gonna make something a little bit simpler maybe. Uh, so let's start. You know, open up a text editor and uh, let's go here so the first thing you need to do is open up a terminal and do touch Ubuntu post installer now from here we can open up that post installer like so now we need to add in the shebang now I don't want to go into a, a rambling rant about what this is but basically you need it at the top of your script it's very important and uh, you know it, it it helps the interpreter interpret your script. So just put it there and then you go down to your step one and step one is the apt stuff. So I use, let's say GIMP. So I'm gonna do sudo apt install GIMP and then I also want Caden Live for video editing. Maybe I want, uh, you know, Chromium, my favorite web browser. Not really, but you know, maybe it is. Um, Terminator, my favorite terminal emulator. You get the idea. Now I can add tack y, which will auto accept it, and that is our apt stuff. Now we can move down to the snap store. So now the snap store is a bit complicated uh, because some snap apps use the edge thing and some snap apps use the beta thing. The best thing you, need, you can do is just go to the snap store, go to Snapcraft, you know, maybe find like a couple of apps you want, like say let's go with uh, Skype, maybe Discord, and uh, let's see, Skype, so we can find what the name of the package is. You can also do this in the terminal, but we can find Skype here, and uh, we can click on the install button. So we know the name of Skype, you know, it says Skype and it says classic. So we can't do anything, you know, we can't yeah. add other programs in the snap command with, you know, with other ones because it needs to use classic so we can make our snap line for Skype right here and then if we want to add more snaps you know we can go up here and we can look for let's say uh, telegram and we know telegram is just you know it's just a normal snap install so we can add telegram to the next line mm -hmm. and we can find discord like I mentioned before and uh, we can add that to the Telegram line as well. So you get the idea. If you have anything that has a special, like a special flag, it could be classic, it could be edge, it could be beta. It needs to be on its own line away from the other things because these ones like Telegram and like Discord, Discord does not install with the classic flag. So it's not gonna work. You gotta keep it separate. But that's our snap stuff taken care of in our script. Now we can move to Flatpak. And uh, we can go to Flathub, and uh, let's find some apps for Flathub that we may want. So I use Spotify a lot, so I want to maybe install Spotify. So I can do sudo flatpak install Spotify, and then maybe, like I said earlier, I need Slack because I use it to talk to people. I can add the Flack, excuse me, the Slack, not Flack, ID, and I can put it right next to Spotify. I can also add it in its own individual line if I wanted to but that's okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. And I'll go over other things you can do, you know, like if you haven't added the Flatpak, uh, Flathub repo, you can add this line above here, you know, just to make sure that you've got the repo. Excuse me, I accidentally went to my other workspace, just to make sure you've got the repo. Uh, I use my other workspace to set up what I'm doing for these videos. And that's that. So 
that's how you write a basic script. You don't really have to make it uber complicated. You know, it doesn't have to look like mine where you have all of these bells and whistles where it installs this and it does this and it does that and this and this and that and sets up scripts and adds in, you know, the right stuff. You just make it as basic as this. And once you're done, you can click control O to save it and exit. And you can execute it anytime, you know, on a new installation. Like I said, you can execute it on any installation by first updating the permissions. So sudo chmod plus x ubuntu post installer, you enter your password, and then just sudo bash ubuntu post installer. And it will execute and it will install all of the tools that we need and we've set up. It's doing all of the things that we wrote in the script. Uh, so if you are new to Ubuntu, you want to make it easier to set up all your favorite tools and apps and you don't want to deal with doing it manually, set up a post installation script. Almost every Linux user that I know, beginner or advanced, has one of these. So definitely something that you want to do. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.